I've been trying to be my own guiding star, but it appears it hasn't. The DIY retailers are doing a little challenge with um, to see how far an eight ounce jar of paint will go. And I'm gonna be using a couple of Debbie's cool brushes. And I'm not only just gonna use this color, which is blue iris, but I'm also gonna use a little bit of a few other colors. So I'm gonna measure it out to make sure that I don't paint any more than with eight ounces. I started out using blue iris with the multitasker brush and I have about three ounces in my cup and I'm gonna paint the whole entire thing, hopefully. And I'm also using a water bottle to keep the paint moving because it is pretty thick. This is this little cup holds one ounce. So I poured one of these cups of Monet's Garden into here. So I am at, th with this, I'll be at four ounces. I'm just gonna blend the Monet's Garden in here. I'm not really that picky about how the blending looks. As you can see, I'm a lot pickier when I'm doing something that, um, like a dresser or something, but this is going to be kind of rustic looking and so the blending doesn't have to be perfect. Here's Theo, um, just trying to get comfy so that he can watch me edit the video. He's so weird. Oh. I'm just painting around the barrel, trying to decide what color I want to use next. I still have four more ounces of paint that I can put on this, so I just need to decide on four more colors. There's something more than this. I think I am ready for doing some changing. Oh God, there's something more than this. And you can have all. Okay, so now I have an ounce of the Farm Fresh. That's an ounce, so I'm at, what am I at? Five ounces with this. I'm gonna use this blender brush. I'm using Debbie's Design Diary DIYs Feather Brush to blend. Oh my gosh, these brushes are so soft. If you haven't tried one, you definitely need to touch one. You'll definitely want to have it in your little toolbox because it's amazing. Sweet little Theo, here he is again, still working on his blanket. I decided on some vintage linen, so I've got an ounce here. This is super runny just because I pulled it out of my sprayer, which we always water down the paint when it's in the sprayer, but it's fine because I just really wanted to brush a little bit of this in. I know I didn't use a whole ounce. I ended up putting half of it back, so it was probably really a half an ounce, but honestly, who's, who's counting? Um, well, apparently I'm counting because um, I have three ounces left on this eight ounce challenge and because we can't go over eight ounces. So, and I know I won't, but I am counting. So doing a little bit of dry brushing so that you can see the wood grain and I think it looks really cool. Last but not least, we have Summer Crush. Summer Crush is one of my very favorite DIY colors. It just gives it sort of a rusty look. I love this color so much and I really use it on a lot of things. Like if I can't think of another color to add, I'm going to probably pick Summer Crush or Kissing Booth, one of those two colors. 
literally on almost every single one of my pieces. And if you want to get a really nice rusty drippy look just use your water bottle and be pretty liberal with it just spray it let it drip um, you can't really screw it up and it's so much fun it's ridiculous I've been trying to be my own guiding star, but it appears it hasn't taken me very far. The colors are really coming together. You do have to keep in mind that DIY paint dries a little bit lighter because of the clay in it, but once you seal over it, um, it will darken back up. So kind of to get the idea of what it's gonna look like when it's sealed, I always just spray it with a little bit of water and then you can kind of get a get the picture of what it's really gonna look like when it's finished. Keep in mind also that DIY paint can be reactivated with water until it's sealed. So you can play with it long after you finish if you wanna change some things. Here I am putting a coat of the Big Top sealer over it and you can see how it's darkening the paint and this will protect it once I put the transfer on it. It's just so much easier for me to put a transfer over the top of a sealer. So I waited about four hours because it's 100 degrees here and I'm using the Cheers transfer which is a really cool IOD transfer. It has eight sheets and there's a, uh, there's a bunch of really cool stuff to put on it. The transfers are so easy to use. You just peel them off the back. I'm cutting this one because it didn't fit right. So I wanna shrink it up a little bit. I'll cut it, peel the back off, stick it on, rub it down, and then you'll just seal over the top of it with um, either a wax or the varnish, like the DIY Big Top or something. But see how easy it is that you just have this little stick and you rub it on. And I went a little crazy with this one. I put transfers everywhere. Once you get the transfer down, then you can just take your plastic sheet and rub it over the top of the transfer just to make sure that you don't have any cracks or bubbles. And then I also took my fingernail in between the little wine staves or whatever they're called and just made sure that the transfer was down inside of those cracks, if that makes sense. Then I cut out some more transfers and added a ton more. I, uh, I it was hard for me to stop. Here I'm just adding another coat of the DIY Big Top sealer over the entire thing and it's going to protect the transfer. I kind of thought the colors were a little too bright on this and so I wanted to add some grunge to it. So I took the DIY Dark and Decrepit liquid patina and just threw it on an old rag and wiped it all over just to give it some more grungy, dark and decrepit look. It really did darken it up a lot and I think it really looks finished, like way more finished than it would have if I would have just left, left the colors with just the big top on it. Normally I would take a uh, paintbrush and brush it on and then wipe, back, wipe it back with a wet rag, but I didn't, it's too hot, it's 100 degrees. And I think it turned out really pretty. 
Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you will like and subscribe to my channel and watch out for more videos. I have another one coming up really soon, probably next week, I hope. Thank you for watching. Action. Please hit subscribe. Oh, wait, what? Say it again. Do it again. It's okay. Um, do another subscribe for the left. And then leave a thumbs up.